Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to tell you about how to insert mathematic symbols and Greek letters in Lyric. So here is a list of few commands that can be used to insert mathematic symbols. For example, a superscript can be inserted by this sign. This sign can be typed by holding shift and pressing 6 together. And whatever is enclosed in these two curly braces will be superscripted to this number or any uh, letter etc. To insert a subscript you will need underscore. Any number or letter enclosed in these two curly braces after this underscore will be subscripted to this number or letter. Another example is the percent sign. You can just use slash and percent sign and it will be inserted in your document. To insert the symbol of infinity, we need slash in tie command. The integration symbol can be inserted by slash int, division sign by slash dev, cross sign by slash times, and summation sign by slash sum. Now let me tell you about some Greek letters. To insert alpha in your document or in your mathematical equation, you need slash alpha. Similarly, beta pi, iota, sigma, epsilon, lambda, chi, and there are thousands of Greek letters that you can insert using certain commands. But can you memorize all these commands or tags for these Greek letters and mathematical equations? No. Don't worry. I'm going to tell you a method to insert these Greek letters and mathematical symbols in your document by a very, very simple way. However, to use these mathematic symbols and Greek letters in your mathematical equations, you need to surround these tags by mathematic environment. So how to set the mathematic environment? Although there are many ways for setting maths environment in LaTeX, but two of them are more important. The first method is for inserting the mathematical formulas in your text in the paragraphs. To insert a mathematical formula in your paragraph, you will need dollar signs to surround your mathematics equation. For example, dollar 5 plus 2 dollar. This is a mathematics equation and it is surrounded by two dollar signs. Another method is the uh, equations environment. It will number your equations as well. So just like begin document and end document, you will need begin equation and end equation surrounding your mathematic formula. So just type your mathematic formula in between these two tags begin equation and end equations and this equation will be numbered as one. If you insert another equation by begin and end equation below this that equation will be numbered as two and so on. Now let's open your make tag. First of all you will need to type these three basic commands that is slash document class article slash begin document and slash end document. These are the basic tags that you will need for your every document. So first let's type a sentence here. This is my first equation in LaTeX. The equation is now compile your document. Here is the result. The equation will appear like this. 5 plus dx is equal to 9y. Now let's surround our equation by dollar signs. One dollar sign in the beginning of the equation and another sign at the end of the equation. Now let's see how this equation changes when press the compile button. Yes, as you can see the dx and this y sign has been italicized because now this is in a proper mathematic equation environment. Without these dollar signs, these x and y will look like normal x and y as in this text. Okay, now let's type another equation inside the equation environment that is begin equation and end equation. Hit enter slash begin equation slash end equation. Now in between these two type the same equation 5 plus dx equals 9y. Now let's see the results. Compile the document. Yes, this is the result. 
as you can see this equation has been numbered as 1 while the equation that was surrounded by dollar signs was not numbered and that equation was not separated from the text while this equation can be seen separated from your main text this will not appear inside the text this will be in its own environment okay now let me copy this equation and paste it below the first equation compile the document as you can see this equation has been numbered as 2 now let me include some mathematic symbols in it for example slash times 9 compile the document and here you see the results okay now put minus slash alpha this will put an alpha sign here is the alpha sign change this alpha type beta you can see the beta sign appearing here now let's change this to sum sign and you will see this sign that shows summation now let's type omega this is the omega sign type cap this is the cap sign type cup yes this is cup sign now let's try superscript and subscript for example i want to put a superscript on six so type six hold shape with six this symbol will be typed and then type x for example in between these two curly braces compile the document so here is the result six power x okay now let's try the subscript t underscore five this five will appear subscript to this t compile the document so t and five five is in the subscript of t as I already told you that there are thousands and hundreds of Greek letters and symbols uh, in mathematics that you cannot memorize commands for. So there is an easy way in MCTAC. Just go to view, show, side panel. This panel will appear. In this panel, you can see several icons here. Press one by one these icons and see the symbols. For example, if I press this sign, inside this category, there are these symbols. For example, I want to type this symbol over here and I don't remember the command, then just press this and your command will appear here. Compile the document and this is the symbol. Remove this symbol. Now try this triangle. Compile it. Yes, the triangle now is included in the equation. Remove this triangle. Now let's try some other symbols like these. This one, for example. Compile it. Yes, this integration sign can be typed by slash int or by pressing this button. Okay, now go to another category this category there are other types of symbols in this category there's another category here here you can see different types of arrows if you want to type arrow in your the document then you can just press any of these arrows here is another category of brackets next category these are the alpha beta gamma etc let's try one of them for example, I want this theta sign, compile, theta will appear here. For example, I need another sign, psi sign near this theta. Both of these signs will appear here. Now let's check another category. In this category, you can see different symbols like telephone sign, a sun sign, etc. In this category, accented letters. This one is another category. So this was all about today's lesson. Thank you for watching. In my next uh, video, inshallah, I will tell you about how to insert references in your document through LaTeX. Bye.